Hello friends, welcome to uh, this edition of Fingal a Foraging Troubadour. I'm out today in the woods next to my woodland gardens and uh, today I'd like to discuss something that people have been asking me a little bit about since I posted up some photos of um, the beginnings of uh, the production of dandelion wine and uh, I thought I'd just give you a quick overview, a quick run through of the process of making your own uh, wines from flowers and later on in the year I'll be doing stuff from berries but at this point yes I'm working with dandelions now I've uh, made wine this is the first for me with dandelion but I have made wine from elderflowers before several on several occasions uh, in Australia and uh, some obviously there'll be people out there who maybe are watching this video who could attest to the quality of this particular beverage fantastic drop doesn't take too long to make doesn't cost hardly anything a bit of production uh, initial you know equipment and production costs uh, and has wonderful effects you know uh, kind of elderflower particularly has this very uplifting uh, nerve tonic you know qualities about it and uh, you drink it away and you've got a big smile on your face and then you get up and you go where have my legs gone um, obviously drink with moderation <laughs> and uh, be sensible but they um, the flowers infused into the wine also have the beneficial effects of the flowers um, so that's why I have decided to embark on this journey with the dandelions and at this point in time there are other flowers around that are possible to make wine from such as uh, wisteria and lilac and also approaching uh, the time of a plentitude of elderflower which I'll be making and post up some more stuff about that as we go but initially the process um, first of all find yourself some good dandelions or whatever flower that you're intending to use for the production of the wine and you go out you know from a nice clean source uh, somewhere where there's no chemicals being sprayed or um, no dogweed that sort of thing and go out and pick yourself uh, for what I'm doing which is making about um, five litres of wine initially uh, a, a sort of a, a good you know if you can get about a kilo of flowers is, is good and uh, you take them home and chop off the petals you use only we only really want to use the petals because the green stalky bits uh, will from my understanding make the wine more bitter so you just really want the flower petals so then put them in a pot and pour over that boiling water and allow to steep for about three two days two days is good um, with a lid on it and just leave that to go meanwhile you need to get yourself beforehand some equipment and what I have here is a demijohn uh, this is a five litre demijohn and it's got a bung in the top and an airlock. Unfortunately, these airlocks seem only to come in plastic these days, but that's okay because not really the wine's not sitting in it, so sitting in the in the glass bottle. So I kind of let that go that one. So uh, I got these from the Great All Giving River of Amazon. Uh, usually I go to a brewing shop, but obviously it's not possible at the moment. Uh, I got two of these because I want to make five litres of dandelion and then I'm going to make I think next five litres of elderflower so uh, apart from that things that you might have to source are uh, these things Campton Campton Campden tablets which are sterilizing and preserving I mean this is the only chemical um, that I will use in this process because yeah it sterilizes the equipment that you're using I mean you can add it to the wine itself to help preserve it and sterilize it but I'm not sure if I, I haven't done that before because I just thought I didn't want to but we'll see how that goes um, apart from that I haven't got a sachet with me but you need wine yeast uh, and any good sort of uh, wine or champagne yeast is good for this white wine yeast and um, that's all that I've ordered on the over the from the great all giving river of Amazon um, and then after that so initially after steeping the flowers uh, you need for five liters of wine 
you need a kilo of hopefully organic but if you can't get them just sultanas um, and sugar and so after the two days of steeping of the flowers the then um, you strain uh, up into that mixture crush up the sultanas uh, bring this to the bring it to the boil put in the sultanas and the zest and juice of four lemons 500 grams of sugar uh, and mix that all together and then in the meantime sterilize a bucket with the Campton tablets and any equipment that you're using as well spoons anything like that just try and get that solution get a solution of Campton on that just to try and sterilize as much as possible and then uh, just bring all that to the boil and then let it cool for a little bit and then put it into the bucket all together uh, and add the necessary amount of yeast which is usually about um, on the packet of yeast that I got it said from 5 litres to 25 litres which is a bit vague but so I just used about half a packet of wine yeast and then I'm at the stage now where you just leave that in the bucket cover it up with a plate Ideally, uh, a plate that just sits on top of the of the top of the mixture and submerges slightly, so that if all the salt if the sultan is raised to the top of the liquid, which they may well do, then any uh, airborne you know microbes or whatever it is that um, could have a problem with that are submerged. You can't you can't get to it. So. Uh, yeah that's the stage i'm at at the moment but you leave that then for uh three days and then strain it off through some cheesecloth uh through a sieve the whole liquid into the demijohn and then once that's in uh if it's not quite up to the top i usually put a little bit of boiled water in there as well and uh i mean if you're if you want to you could add a little bit more sugar to increase the levels of alcohol but uh, I think that should be I, th I mean truly I'm just trying to uh, make a beverage that uh, makes you slightly merry and happy but also has the beneficial effects of the dandelion in it as well and it has no preservatives and no additives and all that sort of thing so then fill the, that up to the top of the demijohn place in the bung with the airlock and this needs a little cap on it as well on the top of there to stop that and then the fermentation process will happen and then that will start bubbling up you'll see bubbles just constantly rising to the surface and then liquid passing through the airlock and that will take any it could take two weeks for it to stop and um, once it once that's ended then you can siphon that off into another demijohn or I think you could probably just leave it in this demijohn and leave it for a period of two months just to settle down and then it's ready for bottling and then and then after that it's up to you as long how long you leave it really and the longer the better I know that from before I've had I've uh, you know got excited and and we've uh, drunk it very um, young and and then but I've given away bottles before to people of elderflower wine and they that's just hung around in their cupboards for a year or something and you go back to it and the, the taste is uh, has matured and it's much more of a full body drink so um yeah well that's that for, for now folks I'll um I'll get back to you on the progress of the wine and if anyone's got any suggestions or uh, ideas or they've done it before or they remember what their grandfather's recipe was or anything like that then then uh, please leave comments or get to me, uh, you know send me a message uh, apart from that go well um, as I mentioned before in a previous video I am um, pushing to make a little bit of funds to buy some recording equipment at the moment to record an album so uh, I, again I'll leave the link below for my band camp and uh, also you can make pre-orders of the upcoming album uh, and apart from that I'll be getting back to you soon with some more foraging and some more music and until then stay safe keep well and uh, see you soon